Hi guys, hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how you can put data in the physical file object. One way to do that is in a green screen environment. The other way to do that is to do it right within RDI. It's amazing how you can do that. Now, let me show you over here uh, the green screen approach and then I'm going to show you how you can do it in RDI, the Rational Developer. Fry. So to get started here, this is the member I have using 20ref.pf. That's the member that I've compiled, created it, it exists as an object. So now within RDI, you can get connected to the green screen by simply right clicking on the server and then going to host connection emulator. Once you're in host connection emulator, you need to provide the username and the password to sign in. Once you are signing into the system, you can then go to the utility which we call STRDFU. Once you are in STRDFU, you choose option number five, which is your temporary program. Now it asks you to enter the name of that data file, which is the object in which you would like to store data. In my case, as I told you, it is using 20REF. And as I press enter, it then takes me to enter data I can enter a customer ID, I can enter name, and I can press enter, it adds it. Then I can add another data item and another name and press enter. Once I'm done, I press F3 and it tells me the two records were added, well and good, done. Now, how to do that within RDI without using green screen? And this is how you do it. Under the window menu, you're going to click on Perspective. Then you're going to click on Open Perspective. Then you're going to click on Other. So again, you're going to click on Window, Perspective, Open Perspective, and then you're going to click on Other. Once you are in Other, you're going to choose Database Development. Once you are in Database Development, you will generally not see any source under data, database connection. So let me remove my database connection, this one. I'm going to delete it just so that I could show you how you can get connected to your connection. By simply right-clicking on the database connections, you can click New. Then you can choose db 2 for i and enter your host. Enter your username and your password and once you enter all this information you simply click on finish and that basically connects you to your server right here that star okay now if you click on schemas it gives you everybody's schema that's like a pain in the neck to oh, this whole list to la launch for you so you can do is you can right click on schema and you can go to filter and once you are in filter, you uncheck disable fil you, uh, and then you check selection radio button. Then you scroll down in the list and wherever you find your ID, you simply click on your ID. And that way you will be able to just work with your ID and click OK. So now when I open schemas, I can only see my ID. I can then expand on this and I can go under tables because that's where all the physical file objects are stored and I'm gonna look for this guy using 20 ref okay so I'm gonna open tables and I'm gonna scroll down to the table that is using ref 20 ref I'll right click on it and I'll go to data and I'm gonna click edit this is how you can add data using RDI so all you do is you you can uh, click edit and it gives you a Excel-like spreadsheet. Notice these are the two records that I entered from DFU which are also available here. All I do is I go under new row and I enter another value and then another name. Tab, I can just keep tabbing and all those yellow lines shows that those data items have been added but not entered and then I will going to add another data value and tab notice it again yellows it and then when I'm done I simply press enter and I can hit the save icon 
on the toolbar where you see my mouse or I can hit press control S on the keyboard. Either way, the asterisks disappear. It runs my query for me and as you can see, it gives me this check mark that it, was ra it ran successfully. And here in the message, it tells me that all this data was added. Now I can test it. Let me close the tab. Let me right click on using 20 ref and I can go to data and return all rows and it ran it successfully and here you can see all the data items here. Okay, So this is how you could add data using RDI to your physical objects and very similarly if you want to see your logical object, logical file objects, they are located under the views tab. And you can again right click on any one of them and then you can click on the same way data, return all rows, and then you can see them. So remember these two things under data, return all rows, and edit are the two ways that you can interact with them. Well, catch you in the next tutorial. Till then, take care guys. Bye-bye.